Erica Montoya stepping through the ropes. Just two years ago, if we flash back, it was Erica Montoya in the opening match of Hook and Shoot's inaugural all-women show, Revolution. This year, she steps up to the main event against this young lady, Japan's own Megumi Fuji. Both of these women considered the absolute best at 115 pounds in the world. Megumi Fuji undefeated. Erica Montoya also undefeated. Both of them have a similar game, a similar style. They both want to get it to the ground. Montoya still very, very young. Only 18 years this is old. The main event of the evening, three five-minute rounds. Megumi Fuji, quite possibly one of the most fit human beings I have ever seen. Hiroyuki Abe in her corner. Adam Lin in the corner of Erica Montoya. Very colorful. Both of these women stand out among the others, not only in their fighting skill, but also in their look. Nice deep leg kick by Megumi Fuji and gets Erica Montoya to the ground. Hook and shoot crowd still learning more and more about these great women. Megumi Fuji also has done some pro wrestling just for fun. Said she had shown up at a pro wrestling event and uh, had some friends there and they didn't know she was even doing pro wrestling. Look at Montoya, look at the guard work of Montoya. She will work the legs up high very proficient in arm bars and triangles and a killer ground game. Unbelievable wrestling skills. And again, she's only 18 years old, barely out of high school. Megumi Fuji, on the other hand, a Japanese national Sambo champion. Outstanding ground game as well. She loves the footlock. She loves the knee bars. We are seeing the two best female athletes in mixed martial arts at 115 pounds. Nice knee to the thigh by Megumi Fuji. My estimations thus far have proven true I said this was going to be a very, very methodical ground chess match. Saying there would be a lot of clinch work. I believe that Fuji will get the better of the two in the clinch. I think it's pretty damn equal on the ground. Some would argue, some would argue that uh, Erica Montoya competes more frequently. And some have said that Megumi Fuji competes on a completely different level in uh, national Sambo championships in Japan. Montoya was studying to be a pilot. Very supportive, very, very supportive parents. Look at uh, Montoya, now she's going for the sweep. And Megumi Fuji with a couple of knees. Montoya returns one to the thigh. You see, see Montoya drop and change levels. And Megumi Fuji just counters them. I see a small whelp forming on the right leg of Erica Montoya from that opening leg kick. Montoya trying to sweep and counter sweep the other side. And it's Megumi Fuji who gets it to the mat.
Erica Montoya started her MMA career at 14 years old. 14 years old. And there you see the uh, purpose of a good corner man. Montoya openly talking to her corner, looking at her corner. It's almost comical when I, when I watch men roll with Megumi Fuji or Erica Montoya or someone of that level. They think that uh, these are frail little women. In actuality, these are some of the most skilled athletes you'll ever, ever see in the ring. Right jab countered by another right jab from uh, Montoya. Montoya taking center ring. End of the first round. Arguably going to Megumi Fuji. As I said, a methodical match. Here's that deep leg kick. You see it spun her ankle all the way around. And Fuji gets that takedown. Here's where Montoya sweeps and sweeps to the other side, but ends up on her back. Tries to secure an arm bar, but could not get it. Seconds down. In my best estimation, and I've told others last night, I see this match going the distance. I see a, uh, a decision for the, for the person who pushes the pace of this fight. Granted, I'd love to see a submission. Who wouldn't? And who doesn't want to see a knockout? But I can tell you, when you compete against the best and you are the best,